Now we shall go to our next question. Question number 11. A regular hexagonal lamina of side 30 mm is lying in such a way that one of its side touches both the reference planes. If the side opposite to the side on which it rests is 45 mm above HP, draw the projections of the lamina. Again here, the criteria are provided to us but in a very uh, twisted manner. So please read the question carefully before we proceed. So obviously the first criteria is the shape which uh, over here is the hexagonal lamina. The second criteria is the dimension which is 30 mm. Now this part is a little tricky, please try to understand, is lying in such a way that one of its sides touches both the reference planes. Both the reference planes over here refers to both HP and VP. So if it's supposed to touch both the reference planes, the horizontal plane and the vertical plane, it means to say it is touching the XY line. Now the next part of the question it says that if the side opposite to the side on which it rests is 45 mm above HP, draw the projections of the lamina. So the first criteria is the shape, second criteria is dimension, third criteria indirectly it is said that it is resting on HP, okay, it is resting on HP because one of the sides is supposed to be on HP, the side opposite to the side is 45 mm above HP and finally it is the same side is touching both the horizontal plane and the vertical plane. So let us look at the solution to the problem and I shall explain to you how we are satisfying the criteria for the question, right? So the first step obviously is to draw the XY line. So I have my X, Y, VP and HP. Next, we have a hexagonal lamina of side 30 mm. So let us draw the hexagonal lamina in edge condition. So before we go on to do that, I shall measure 30 mm using the compass. 30 mm using the compass radius and keeping this 30 mm, I shall draw a hexagon by drawing the circle. How to draw the hexagon? We shall look at it now. A simple method, a simple technique. Now after we draw the hexagon, let us draw a vertical diameter which passes through the midpoint of the circle from where we have drawn the circle. Now keeping at this point, I shall draw two arcs and at the same time keeping at this particular point, also I shall draw two arcs. Joining all these points, we shall get, we shall be able to get our hexagon. So we have gotten our hexagon, so let us name all the points, so I have my point A over here, B, C, D, E and F and obviously the dimension happens to be 30 mm in this case.
Now, we have completed everything with respect to the first position top view. Now let us draw the projection lines and get the front view for this. Since we are placing it flat on the horizontal plane, we will be able to see only a line. So my point C and D will be along the same straight line. Point B and E will be in the same straight line. And my point A and F will also be in a same straight line. So this point here happens to be my A dash bracket F dash. This point here is my B dash bracket E dash. And this point here is my C dash bracket D dash. And let us join all these three points with proper visible line to get our first position front view. So here we have satisfied the shape, dimension and we know that it is resting on HP. Right? Now either I can rotate it in such a manner that it is resting on A dash bracket F dash on both the reference planes that is HP and VP or with respect to C dash bracket D dash. So we will have to identify which at particular edge we are going to touch upon the both the reference planes, uh, reference planes and the side opposite to that side which is that side so if I take A dash bracket F dash then the side opposite to the side is C dash bracket D dash which should be 45 mm above HP. So what we will do is we will draw a line parallel to the XY line the, in the second position front view such that this line is 45 mm above the XY line. So at a distance of 45 mm I shall draw a line so measuring 45 mm a point here and a point here so join these two lines I shall get a line which is at a distance of 45 mm and at a in parallel to the XY line so as you can observe I'm going to take the distance from A dash bracket F dash to C dash bracket D dash. This specific distance I'll be taking. This specific distance. Now this distance, I shall take a point here. I'll assume that my point A dash bracket F dash or is the one which is touching the XY line. So measuring that distance, keeping it here, I shall cut an arc. And I shall join these two points. And I'll get the point C dash bracket D dash. So measure exactly half, we'll get our, we'll get the point B dash bracket E dash also. So I have my point B dash bracket E dash. Right? So now we are satisfying the criteria that one of the edges is touching the horizontal plane and the edge opposite to that, that is C dash bracket D dash is 45 mm above HP. So this HP, one of the edges is touching HP that we are satisfied. Now we have to make sure in the third position that the same edge is touching VP also. So we look at it when we come to it. So draw the projection lines from each of these points. Again from here, draw the projection lines. We'll, you'll observe that the point F and D are along the same straight line. A and C are also along the same straight line. And finally my point So kindly forgive me if I'm uh, if my lines are a little slanted because I do not have the grids. Uh, I'm drawing on plain sheets of papers. Okay, so I have my point A, my final point B, C, D, E, and F. So join all these points with proper visible lines. We shall get our front view.
Now, here we have observed as per our drawing, the edge A to F is touching the horizontal plane and the edge opposite to that, that is CD is 45 mm the horizontal plane. Now, look at the second part of the question, the first sentence is lying in such a way that one of its sides, one of its sides touches both the reference planes. So the one of the sides which I have chosen according to our solution is A to F, it is touching both the reference planes meaning it is touching the horizontal plane and in the third position we will have to ensure that the same edge that is A to F is touching the vertical plane also. So if it is touch, if it suppose it be touching the vertical plane, it should be touching the XY line. So we will have to recreate the second position top view in the third position top view such that the edge A to F is on the XY line. So appropriately I shall start off. I will take a point, measure from A to F. That distance happens to be 30 mm. So measuring that. So I will get my point F. So from my point A and F, there are simple techniques, there are different methods as to how you can recreate it. Recreate the second position top view, the third position top view. What, what, I will show one technique over here. So I shall draw two perpendicular lines from A and from F. Next up, I will measure the distance from C to A, which will be the same as D to F. C to A and D to F will be the same length. So keeping it at point A, I shall cut the arc and get the point C. And keeping the point at F, I shall cut the arc and I will get the point D. So this here happens to be my point C and this here happens to be my point D. Finally, I will measure the distance from D to E, D to E. From D to E, it will be the same as E to F, C to B as well as A to B since it is symmetric about the vertical and horizontal. So from each of these points, I shall cut the arcs. From D I have cut an arc, from F also I have cut an arc. Similarly, from C I will be cutting an arc and from A also I will be cutting an arc. So I have my point. B, C, D, E and F. So I have successfully located all the points. So join all these points with proper visible lines. So now as you can observe the edge AF, the edge AF is touching both the reference planes that is HP and VP and the edge opposite to that edge that is CD happens to be 45 mm above HP. Now let us draw the projection lines and get the third position front view. And from here, from my point CD, draw a projection line and my from my point BE, I will be drawing a projection line and I don't have to draw a line from A dash back at F dash because it's along the XY line. So my point A and my A dash are meeting here. So this is my new A dash over here, the same point from the front view. My point B and B dash are meeting here. So this is my new B dash. My point C and C dash are meeting here, so this is my new point C dash. My point D and D dash are meeting here, so this is my new point D dash. My point E and E dash are meeting here, so this is my new point E dash. And finally my point F and F dash are meeting here, so this is my final F dash. So join all these points with the proper visible lines, we shall get our third position front view.
So thus, we are satisfied all the criteria to this particular question. Thank you for your time.